Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you my data analysis of Scripsy. And this is the title of my Scripsy, Fear of Negative Evaluation and O2L to Self, a study of Indonesian high school science students. In the research design, I use mixed method for my Scripsy. By using mixed method, the variables in this research which are F and E and O to L to self can be examined together, supported by quantitative data and qualitative data. To the best of my knowledge, the studies that discuss F and E or F L A and L to M S S or O to L to self by using a mixed method is unavailable. Therefore, this study is planned to conduct a mixed method to gather the data from the participants about FNA and O2L to cell. As mixed method is used in this research, pragmatism paradigm is applied. The pragmatic approach taken in this study is informed by the belief that the practicality of research is primary, so that it cannot be driven exclusively by a theory of or data. Then, for the research participants, I choose 100 high school science students in Indonesia. The age of the participants are around 16 until 18 years old, and the level of their English are intermediate level. Then, in the research instrument, I use questionnaires and interviews to obtain the data. The first, to, get, to obtain the quantitative data, I use questionnaire. For the part 1, I use FLCS questionnaire by Horwitz et al. 1986. From Subakti 2018, this questionnaire has 0.93 Cronbach's alpha coefficient. That means this questionnaire are appropriate to be used in this research. And then I use 9 items out of 33 items representing FNE. For the part 2, I use L2MSS questionnaire by Takuji et al. 2009 and I use 9 items representing O2L to self and I will distribute this questionnaire to the 100 high school science students. This questionnaire will use Likert scale items which is strongly agree, agree, natural, disagree and strongly disagree and then to get the qualitative data I use interviews and I prepare the interview checklist then I will interview six high school science students for the ethical considerations in this research, I will use four basic principles in research ethics by Mertens, Holmes, and Harris 2009. But in this research, I just use three out of four basic principles, which are autonomy, beneficence, and non-maleficence. Autonomy is participants should consent to participate. If they do not wish to participate, nobody should force them otherwise. And then for the beneficence, beneficence is the researchers minimize risk and maximize possible benefits. And for non-maleficence, the researchers do not harm the participants. And in this research, I also give the consent form to the participants because it can respect the participants' autonomy, minimize harm, and maximize possible benefits. This study also uses a pseudonym. A pseudonym is used in this research is to maintain the anonymity of participants. The researcher will know the participant's real name while doing the data analysis process, but the data report will use a pseudonym. And for the sequence of data collection and analysis, the first step is asking permission by obtaining gatekeeper consent form from the headmaster of the high school. And then the second step is distributing questionnaire consent form and questionnaire to the 100 high school science student. So 
after I obtain the gatekeeper consent from the headmaster, I can directly distribute the questionnaire consent form and also the questionnaire to the students. And then, after I distribute the questionnaire, I will collect the questionnaire and I will recording the questionnaire data into SPSS 25. That is for the third step. And for the fourth step, I will execute the data into SPSS 25. And after I execute the data in SPSS 25, it will answering my research question once, one, research question two, and research question three. In the other side, it will be answering students' experience fear of negative evaluation in class, the students' level O2, L2 self, and the relationship between high school science students' FNE and their O2, L2 self. After that, to get more in-depth data, after I distribute the questionnaire, I will do the interviews to the students. I will choose six participants to be interviewed based on the participants who give mobile number in the questionnaire consent form before. After that, I will contacting the target participants and make an appointment to do interview and after i contacting the target participants i will distribute the interview consent form first before i do the interviewing and uh, after the participants get the consent form i will conducting the interview with the target participants then after i do the interview I will transcribe the interviews data recording and I will translating the transcript and coding the transcript. I need to translate the transcript because in the interview I use Indonesian language. After I do the translating transcript and coding the transcript, I will analyzing thematic analysis. I will find the theme of the interviews and it will be answering my research question 4 which is about the factors of high school science students FNE that are affected by their O2L2 self then this is about the possible obstacles and possible solutions while doing the research while doing the research, of course, there are many obstacles and also I need to find the solutions. For the first possible obstacles, I didn't obtain gatekeeper consent form from the intended school. Then, for the possible solutions about that, I immediately look for other high schools that have many science classes. Talking about the first obstacle, Gatekeeper consent is important before doing a research. If I didn't obtain the gatekeeper consent, I uh, cannot do the research in the intended school. So I need to look other high school and obtain the gatekeeper consent. After that, I can do the research in that intended school. Then, for the second possible obstacles, I cannot get 100 high school science students in one school. Then, for the possible solution, I need to looking for participants in other schools, but with some consideration, namely the same school level and must be a science student. To the best of my knowledge, not all schools has many science classes probably just two classes or three classes that is why i need to look uh, for the participants in the other schools 
but must be a science student. Then for the third possible obstacles, the target of participants for the interview was not reached. The possible solution for that obstacles, I need to go to the intended school and meet with the teacher and ask for permission to meet with students and do interviewing. The last, the fourth possible obstacle is obstacle to meet with participants to conduct interview. Then the possible solution for that obstacle, I conduct online interviews such as watch up calls or other platforms. So if the participants do not want to meet face to face while doing interview, but uh, the participants willing to be interviewed I will use the online interviews the online platforms to interviews to make the participants more comfortable while interviewed I think that's all for the data analysis of my script C. I hope this video is useful for you don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe this video Thank you.